you're leading the meeting, but whose meeting is it? Do you see and hear that the crew is actively listening and bringing up good questions and comments? Or do you see crew members staring at their shoes, kicking rocks, looking at their phone, blank faces? Are you under the illusion that is, it is just because everyone has gathered that you're having a meeting? Are you and the crew engaged or just gathering? Why is this important? Because those closest to the job have the best insight for safe operations. It's hard to have a good plan when no one speaks or just speaks about PPE requirements or some other safety topic. Those are important, but you need to talk about the specifics of the job as well. Talk about the hazard of the activity. Have you created a psychologically safe environment? Workers must be able to voice concerns, make comments, and ask questions. The leader and crew should recognize that the plan of the day meetings are for their benefit. What's the best atmosphere for the organization? Go along, get along? Or one that has challenges and they're welcomed? Okay, that's our lift plan. Dave, you're in the crane. Barry, you're... John, can we talk about this a little more? Sure, Dave, go ahead. I realize our wind limit of 20 miles per hour for crane operations, and the wind is about 18 miles an hour now. The thing is, these panels are like a kite when they're in the air. Flying them that high is pretty risky for crane stability, and the guys land on the load. John? Yes, Barry? I'm with Dave here. It seems a little risky right now to make lifts. We could shake out the panel stacks so that they're in the right order for installation and wait to see if the wind dies down like it's supposed to. I see your point, guys. Let's go ahead and shake them out, and I'll get with the superintendent to let them know our change in plans. Sometimes things are within the rules and procedures, but the level of risk can be increased in certain environments. Leader and crew engagement can make the difference by recognizing the potential for exposure to a serious injury or fatality. What exactly are the benefits of active listening and thoughtful participation? I'll give you a few. When workers feel that they have a say in how the work is done, they are more likely to be engaged and committed to their job. By speaking up about workplace concerns, workers can help to identify and address issues that affect their health, safety, and well-being. This forum for open communication between the workers and the leader helps to build trust and ensures that everyone is on the same page. Those are some benefits for making sure everyone has a voice. Make sure the meeting is not just a gathering, but a forum for active listening and participation.